Hi everybody and welcome back to uh, part two of my solo sail from northwest Spain uh, across the Bay of Biscay back to Ireland. Beautiful evening this evening. Just watching the waves, watching the sun. Life is good. Good morning, uh, Wednesday morning, day, day three, I was in bed, it's quarter to nine, and we got hit by a big uh, squall, and when I came out and I looked at the screen, we were doing 11 knots, <laughs> and I was just after getting dressed, but by the time I got dressed, it has actually, uh, It stopped and it's dropped back down even lower now. It's down to like 16, 17 knots. And we're still doing eight. But that was... Uh, just a rain squall. But it woke me out of bed because the boat healed over so much. Anyway, all good. I don't have to go out in the rain now. Because <laughs> the wind has dropped off. 17, 18, and I have a full Yankee up, you see. I shouldn't have gone to bed with the full Yankee up, but I'm trying to make speed as well. Uh, anyway, I can have breakfast now. So I've made breakfast and a coffee, and I didn't reef yet. <laughs> uh, the shower has passed, and it's, 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 uh, it's typical squally rainy day average well about 18 knots of wind but gusting 26 27 i suppose i I, sh I should put a few rolls in the yankee and um, but i'm enjoying the speed so we'll see but play it by ear see what happens always good to have a coffee first assess everything <laughs> slowly but surely I'll bring the camera out now in a minute. up to 30, 30 plus knots of wind but it's behind us so it's good and rain we're getting good gusts in the rain squalls batting down the hatches <laughs> Fantastic sailing.
Waxwing, well, Waxwing is well designed for this. I am slightly over canvas. As I said, I'm enjoying the speed. And it's nice to keep ahead of these waves, you know, they, they're starting to crest and break, so if I'm running a bit faster, it's better, rather than having them um, poop into the cockpit all the time. I just don't know that today's forecast. I'm actually catching up with that system, but uh, that's okay too. Uh, the winds will ease off as the, as the as the journey goes on. I should have a lovely sail uh, to Ireland. So for today, you can see uh, Gustin 33. So that's why, yeah, that's that's about right. So I suppose I should actually uh, go out and reef, but do nine and ten knots is good fun.
gentlemen. Uh, Waxwing, I can't compliment this board enough. She's just, this is what she's built for, this is what she's designed for, and not a problem. Just loving it. Tipping along beautifully. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven knots coming down the big waves. That's pretty good for, I, I'm weighing about 14 ton at the moment. I carry in a lot of gear and water and diesel. And, and um, you know, she's a 41 foot displacement boat. That's good speed for a displacement boat. I made beautiful friends along my way. Uh, we had a party here one night, a, a lovely dinner. I had a lot of friends here in Porto Mau. Uh, one of my friends, Carmen, she has a lovely shop there in Porto Mau. Uh, she gave me that actually, that, that lovely colour fabric behind me. Um, I, I, I love, I'll skip ahead, I love ginger in my food, and but it's, it's gone. It's, uh, it's just, it's gone, it's lived its life. And I forgot that uh, Carmen had given me a present of lovely uh, ginger tea. Ooh. So I'm going to make myself a lovely cup of uh, ginger tea. Thank you, Carmen. Um, it's always nice. I really like ginger and garlic. I'm also back into a... It's the warmest t-shirt I could find. <laughs> Snoopy. So I've reefed the main, triple reef, and the boat's way more comfortable now. And let that, I let that soak. So three, three, three reefs in the main. The waxwing is funny when she's downwind. Uh, three reefs in the main works very well, and a full Yankee. I'm, I'm, I've two rolls in the Yankee, so it's, it's practically a full Yankee. But uh, the boat's way more comfortable, and the wind has, has dropped right down now as well. We're back to uh, 20 knots, and we're doing seven knots. So that's good. Uh, 20 knots and a quarter is a beautiful wind. So uh, a cup of tea now, and then I'm editing videos because I got some super footage when I was up uh, reefing the mainsail. So I'm going to edit that, and there should be some lovely. Uh, videos a lot of my videos is talking and maintenance and all that sort of crap but uh i got some great footage today anyway hanging on for dear life out there it's brilliant i love it lovely to have fresh food on board again i'm looking forward to going home and getting lovely big roast dinners my food is always good on board but obviously you don't have uh Fresh veg, well, fresh meat. And not that I'm a big meat eater anyway, but every now and again it's nice. Here's a handy trick for making your breakfast. <laughs> Use the gimbals of the cooker so it doesn't spill. If I leave it up here, it's gone, and the last thing you want is smelly milk on the floor. Oh, God, that was a good nap. So from here, my bed, I can see everything. We're on course. I can tell by the boat that the, in, the wind has eased off. Wind is down to 25 knots. And uh, it's still lively. 25 gust and 30, but it's, it's, it's not steady 30 anymore. Uh, the swell is still impressive. We're taking a few over the deck here and there. I better be careful. Uh, but isn't that beautiful? And we're doing seven, seven knots uh, on a steady course north now for Ireland. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was going to get hit there, that would have been stupid. Anyway, I said it earlier, um, you don't tend to video as much when it's rough because of that. But it's a shame to miss this. Uh, 
she's a lovely dry boat though I must say uh, even when she's taking waves o over the bow or over the quarter uh, you never get a drip or a drop inside so tomorrow we'll be crossing oh Jesus I better go <laughs> Woo! surf up baby Uh, tomorrow we'll be crossing, uh, tomorrow morning about 10 o'clock we'll be crossing the continental shelf and it will get rough then, then it's definitely batting down all the hatches, it goes from 400 metres to 200 metres. So. Um, the other thing about this weather and being out and reefing and stuff, you're always hungry, I'm always hungry, so I just made a nice dessert now, uh, ambrosia creamed rice and um, a can of mixed fruit, so nice treat, and keep the energy up too, you burn a lot of energy when you're up in deck, and like I can't video when I'm on deck uh, all the time, you know what I mean, it's, it's just not possible. But uh, so I'm up and down quite a bit, obviously. So keep the strength up and keep napping. <laughs> Tough life. I spoke too soon. <laughs> we just took a big hit there. Big wave broke over us. Look, it wasn't in bed. My whole bed ended up on the floor. <laughs> Everything in the cockpit washed. Look. I'll tidy that now. It's Wednesday evening and the wind has finally eased off. We're back down to 14, 15, 16 knots of wind, which is lovely. I can sit outside again and have a smoke. <laughs> it was getting a bit stinky inside. Uh, Wind is down, sea state is down. We had about four, it's hard to guess uh, swell size, but it was about four or five meter swells. Uh, they were breaking over the boat some of the time over the deck, but not a lot, uh, which isn't a problem. She's designed for that, but it's way more comfortable now. Better morning this morning. Day four. Running with full Yankee again. Sea state down. Twenty odd knots of wind. Beautiful sailing. On a lovely northerly course, obviously. Sun just rising in the east. The moon has just set behind us. Thank God for a lovely day. Good morning. It's uh, Thursday morning. The 19th of May. Uh, wind is down to 20 knots on the quarter. Couldn't be better. 6 a.m. The sun has just come up. And as you saw, the moon was just dropping behind us. Uh, a perfect day. A beautiful day. Um, still making six seven knots on a northerly course uh, perfect course for Ireland southwest Ireland um, uh, and nice to have a, 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 a nicer motion in the boat again I, I enjoyed I thoroughly enjoyed the last uh, three days in 30 35 knots of wind powerful sailing it was really good but it was also nice to have uh, my bed was was a lot I slept I slept very well last night uh, and there's no shipping. I saw. I haven't seen a ship in three days. Two days. 
uh, out in open water. Well, I love open water, there's no fishing out here, but there will be soon now. I crossed the continental shelf today by lunchtime, uh, and then you'll, there'll be more fishing fleets from the southwest of Ireland, France, England, but uh, that's fine too. But uh, the feeling in, uh, of, of uh, solitude and, and, and peace in the open water is lovely. Um, so today, today is going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to do a big tidy up. Uh, I had a walk around on deck this morning, check everything. Uh, my boat hook was washed off the deck even though it was lashed down. <laughs> I had a good bit of water over the deck the last few days. Uh, the cockpit, not so much. I got one or two poops into the cockpit. Um, that's no harm to clean the scuppers. But uh, it's it's been an incredible journey so far. Uh, I, I was hesitant to, to pull into north, northwest Spain that time uh, last week. And I'm so glad I sheltered. Like getting the 35 knots off, off the back of, of that depression was incredible sailing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to have been in, in the middle of that and have had 50 knots. Uh, it was unnecessary and, and it was a good decision. I'm glad I made it. I like when I make good decisions because normally you can you can jump on and say, ah, look, I'll just go for it. And I'm glad I didn't. Uh, so t today uh, would be a nice tidy up and cook nice dinner. And uh, I'm going back to bed now shortly for another two hours. It's only 6 a.m. So um, I go back and get another bit of sleep and get up then and make uh, plans for the rest of the day. Put up the stay sail as well as the Yankee. More speed. Beautiful morning this morning. Uh, swell is way down. It's very comfortable now. And uh, making seven knots on the course of uh, zero 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 more or less uh, north. And then when I'm southwest of Ireland, I'll uh, I'll start turning in for uh, for land for the estuary, the River Shannon. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Had a great sleep last night. The the sea state was down, and uh, no shipping. I haven't seen a ship now in two days. Even on the AIS screen, which is great. Open water. So on Thursday afternoon, we've crossed the continental shelf. Into shallower water now off the shelf of Europe. <laughs> Might be still a bit early to be sitting outside. <laughs> but um, uh, it's nice to get out and sit in the sun. I put the spray hood up into the shelter. It's like another sail anyway. Um, we're running more or less downwind, we're on a, a broad reach, just a bit of wind Jenny. Uh, so it's beautiful, beautiful conditions. Just sitting here watching the miles go by. Today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, might be home Saturday night, Sunday morning, back to Kilrush in County Clare, uh, to Kilrush Marina. God. You just sit here all day watching it, it's beautiful. I just love how, how, how Waxwing rises and falls to every wave, it doesn't matter what, how big or small. She's a noble, a noble yacht. I love her. We look after each other. <laughs> just glides along effortlessly. 
effortlessly. <laughs> I always have trouble with that word. Effortlessly. <laughs> Yeah, not even gonna try say it again. Anyway, it's beautiful. I'm gonna make a cup of now and bring it out. And there's even sunshine. The sunshine makes it so much nicer. And it's important to get out, not to be sitting in the cabin when you don't have to be. It's lovely to get out and uh, feel the fresh air, feel feel the wind. Life is good. Here's my view as I cook dinner. I love this. Today I'm having a concoction. <laughs> Scrambled egg with tomato and a can of Spam. <laughs> it's energy food. I get tired of eating the same thing every day, so... Uh, so that's a nice, that'll fill me up anyway. And I'll make a nice dessert then afterwards. So another lovely end to a, a, a lovely day. Uh, keep an eye out for the waves. Had a beautiful day, beautiful day. Did a good run. I must work out the distance I sailed today, but it was a good, a good, a fairly good run anyway. Probably not as good as yesterday, but, uh, but beautiful sailing. Oh my God, what a day. Fantastic. So uh, the sun is just well. Sun will go down shortly. Uh, about two days away from Ireland. Uh, all going well. If this w wind holds, which is forecast. So I hope you enjoyed watching everything this week. I, I had a ball. <laughs> I'm glad you came along, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so tune in next week, and you'll see uh, the the last bit of the journey to Ireland and sailing up the River Shannon, up the estuary. Beautiful, beautiful evening. Absolutely flying along. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. And uh, plenty more sailing footage uh, for next week's video. All right, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do. It all helps. And uh, click the bell. It'll notify you of upcoming videos. So uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Waxwing out.